Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. Hi guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And what are we doing? Well, we are getting ready to carve some feathers and some feet on this bird. About time, right? So, uh, how y'all doing? You fighting a good fight? Staying healthy? I guess uh, we just got a notification today that we have an 8 o'clock curfew here in Michigan. So, no big deal for me. I'm usually home by 8 o'clock anyway. But yeah, they're shutting down all the little stores and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to be mostly using our high-speed carving tool from SCM. And uh, right now we have that uh, finishing bit. It's very pointy. Goes right down to a needle. So I'm cutting the uh, toes in or talons, whatever you want to call them, on him. Do a little undercutting to make it stand out there a little bit. Yep. And then we have to get rid of that little that little piece between the feet. So we're going to change over to a another small dental burr. It's uh square. Squared on the end and we're just removing that extra wood so we can separate our feet so you know where all the toes goes. Okay. And we'll be changing that out, and we're going to that small flame burr, small flame football burr. And basically, we're uh, rounding those toes over now. Working in between them. Putting the little points down at the bottom where the claws would be. A little undercutting under him. I decided that he's going to be sitting on a rock. Or hey, maybe maybe if we round that rock that off, we can make him sitting on a stump. I think that's a better idea. I think we're going to have him sitting on an old stump. That's not like a good idea. Just th just thought about that while I was watching this. I was going to make a rock, but I think I'm just going to make an old stump. Sitting on an old stump. So we're just uh, working them feet. Separating his legs a little bit there. And then we're going to add feathers going up his legs. As soon as we get done monkeying around here. Just trying to define those feet a little bit better. Yep, now we're uh, we're going ahead and we're going back and we're kind of adding adding feathers to them, roughing that up to make it look like feathers anyway. And he's he's not coming out great, but he's not coming out bad. You know, it's my interpretation of an owl, I guess. And bringing the feathers down onto the feet a little bit there.
See? And we've gone back to our very sharp, pointy finishing bit. I'm having problems with my air control valve. Okay. I have drawn the, the feathers in for the wings. So I'm just giving it a little loop de loop de do there across the about down from the top a little bit. And then we'll put the longer flight feathers in down below that. And we'll cut them in on both sides. Yep, yep. Cut the feathers in down both sides with our little needle finishing bit there. And then we'll end up coming back in with our uh, that tiny fling burr bit and undercut those. I think it looks like they're stacked on top of each other. We've got that swoop in them. We've got swoop in feathers back. Yep. Undercutting that wing a little bit. And we'll do the other side. Playing with our bird. You know that song, the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. You got the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. You know the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. You know the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. Okay, that's enough of that song. Wow. Uh, you can do the same operation with your Dremel. Get your your finest burr you have. Or even get yourself some of these finishing burrs and get that 1.6 uh, millimeter collet for it. Then you can go ahead and just use these too. But yeah, okay, uh, so... Otherwise, uh, if you have a Dremel, and you're doing this with a Dremel, you can use the a very fine point diamond bit, or you can use, uh, oh, what's that bit, that other one? They're the aluminum cutters, but they're really, they got a real needle point to them. Or you can use an X-Acto knife. You know, however you can get in there with those really fine lines. You don't have to group your feathers as close together as these ones either, guys. You can uh, go ahead and use the uh, use your your small flame burr. Here we are with that little that little flame burr again. The camera just does not want to focus tonight. You can get away with that little flame burr. And get in there and uh see that's why i like flame birds because they got that tiny point on them get in there with your little flame burr and just trace your lines with it and then come back in at an angle and undercut your lines with your diamond flame burr on the, the you know small diamond flame burr in your dremel And, and you don't have to, uh, like I said, you don't have to make your feathers as close together as I have. You can separate them out, you know, give them, give them a little more room in between. It's not like this bird's actually going to fly, you know. So basically, I'm just coming back in and uh, undercutting 
those lines that I just put in with that finishing bit. Okay. One side, almost done. Yeah, yeah. Just been carving and making videos today, guys. Basically, it. Trying to avoid the news channel with all the crazy people running around out there. Project's been pretty fun. I still think his head is a little bit too big for his body, but it is what it is, right? Next time we'll make a bigger body and a smaller head. Next time it'll probably be the other way around. The body will be too big and the head will be too small. Do you know how many different types of owls there are? Holy mackerel. I got, uh, I went on, uh, Google and I Googled owls, right? Images of owls to, to take a look at what I was doing. And holy mackerel, there are so many different types of owls. I didn't know there were that many different types of owls. I thought you had like barn owls and horned owls and snow owls but man all the pictures of the different owls it's crazy you got great big owls you got little tiny owls all kinds of owls yeah go search owls once on google and see how many owls come up I guess i should have went to wikipedia and said uh wikipedia how many owls are there how many different types of owls are there but that's yeah, crazy I didn't know there were that many different types of owls. Southern owls, northern owls, Alaskan owls, North American owls, South American owls, Asian owls. You believe that? Asian owls? Yep. So, it's craziness. On how many different species of owls. Hey, they don't want you to be an owl that looks like mine. I don't know. I didn't look at all of them. That'd be, uh, the crazy owl, I guess. Oops. Hey, what's your hat doing in there, discard, Rob? Get your hat out of there. Stop sneaking your hat in. I didn't realize I was that close to the camera. I guess I'm brimming with ideas. Get it? Hat, brim, brimming. <laughs> okay, well, that's enough of that silliness, right? So, I messed up on my uh, owl count. I got two part threes. So, should this be part four or part five? It should be part five. But I'm going to, so we don't get anybody confused, we're just going to go with part four on, on this video. I know, I, I must, I don't know what I was thinking when I uh, put down three. Mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. You make mistakes, you make mistakes. Okay. And we're going to start putting some upper feathers, which are the smaller feathers. So we'll do that. We'll put some little feathers up top there. Still using that little diamond flame burr. And then we're going to have to put some feathers down his chest. But uh, I think I'll do all that stuff off camera. It's basically the same maneuver that we're putting these upper feathers. I don't even know what you call them. I know the long ones are called flight feathers. But I don't know what the short ones are called. Somebody's going to have to look that one up. Maybe I'll look it up later. I know the ones under the wing are called pin feathers. And I'll, I'll use this same pattern on the chest. 
going down the chest. Uh, maybe take the, the finishing burr and make them little swoopy things. You know what I'm saying? Make it look like the ends of feathers and then go back and just do this like we're doing on the, the wing here. And we'll just carry that on down the chest. Okay. Got any questions, don't be afraid to leave a comment, guys. I usually try getting to them uh, as soon as I can. But I will answer all. I, I usually answer all comments. So, yeah. We're just putting these little little wing feathers up here. I don't know what they're called. We're just going to put these wing feathers in. And after we get all that done, I think uh, it's about 20 minutes, so I think we're going to end this video here in a minute or so. And maybe two minutes. But yeah, so just going to go around there and keep doing the feather thing. And that's basically another owl done. I believe. I believe that's another owl finished, guys. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Share. Like. Tell your friends. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Carve something awesome. Be awesome. Do something awesome. And we will catch you guys on the next one. All right. Yep. One of these days I'll get my endings right where it actually ends when I get done with the, you know, share, like, subscribe thing. I'd like to say hi to Jordy over at Carve Infusion, Rock of Ages over there in Tennessee, Evil Evil Rick. How you doing? And I think that's where we're going to end it, guys. So I am going to say... Just carve, and we'll catch you later. Bye.